Marker's objective Bravo secured! Hey guys, my name is a Russian Badger, and I don't know what's going on. It's some sort of crouching tiger hidden communist type deal. I don't know what these catfish are doing, but they're flying towards me in rapid numbers, and I don't like it. Well, actually, I find it kind of funny, so I guess I do like it. But first off, I'd like to apologize for my last video because I think I went too negative. Well, not negative in terms of KD or any of that. I was just too negative in my tone. I was talking about, oh, AK-47 is overpowered, PPSH is overpowered, M60 is overpowered, so forth. I thought it was too negative. It just, set, just set the record straight. I absolutely love Vietnam. I think it's a wonderful game. And I'm even just getting into it now. I mean, playing it in longer spurts compared to these short little games that I really got in whenever the game first came out. But I definitely took all of your ratios into account. Um, I think I'm going to go with at least a 2-to-1 or a 3-to-1 just because it's new. Some of you wanted more original bad company some of you want a 90 percent vietnam but i really think that this is probably the best system to three to one or two to one ratio in favor of vietnam and then once once the whole new toy i i believe somebody said something about like the new toy appeal or like the newness of it once that sort of wears off i might go to an even ratio of one to one so for a vietnam video there's a normal video and there was also a problem on PSN where we all lost our stats. We were all set back to zero, but they got that fixed. So, And I also do apologize about the quality of the last video. Not quality in terms of how good it is. I mean, the actual i2 actually exported in 480p instead of, I believe instead of the HD 720p because it took me like eight times to upload it. It was just annoying. But with that, that out of the way, playing with the good old 870 combat on Hill... Is it, I almost said 130... I, I, for some reason, somebody told me it was 937, somebody else told me it was 637, but I know in this game it's 137. And SNC, on my last video, E-C-E-N-T-C, said, he didn't even say really a, a real lengthy comment. All his comment was, was just literally Hill 137. And I like to fill that request, and I, I got a little carried away there. Sometimes I run away from the objective just before it's, it's set, because I like to get away from the objective as quickly as possible once I arm the... Once I set the charge, and that was easily done here. Now, with the 870S uh, MCS shotgun, it is so much more wonderful in Vietnam because there's a larger damage. Now, if I'm correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is the exact weapon statistic. Okay, it's 14.3 for each pellet on normal Battlefield Bad Company 2, and then it's 15.6 for Vietnam Battlefield Bad Company 2 per pellet, and there's 12 pellets. So. Overall, there's more damage in this shotgun compared to regular Bad Company 2, and that Duska Feldmere, I love that very, very much. That is, I think that's perfect, because you guys probably still know, I don't like using slugs. Slugs are just asinine to me. They're just, I just find them to be stupid, and I, I just think that in the original Bad Company 2, the shotgun range should be a little bit farther with Buckshot, but I really think this Vietnam 870S MCS shotgun is just perfect. And... Hill, Hill 137, or I'm just going to call it Hamburger Hill like they do in the outro video. That, And actually, that adds quite a bit to this game, I must say. The music, you can hear it in the choppers and the boats and the cars. And also, the, the, the commentary over the intros and outros to each game. I, for some reason, that just, it's very entertaining to me. I don't know why, but it's just extremely entertaining. And that just adds so much to this game. But... In terms of the 870S MCS shotgun, you can definitely use it very easily on the first set, but once it comes to the second set and the third set, it's a little bit more difficult, and you really have to use that tactic. I'll just call it the I'll call it the arm razor. It's it's this odd tactic where as soon as you shoot your shotgun, and I got the Spidey sense going here, and give me your sandwich. Oh man. That was I think that was a combination of my headset and my whole Spidey sense and just my overall ingenuity when it comes to this game I'm totally kidding that's just that's just being boastful and arrogant and those two traits I do not like to have so as I was saying about this tactic and Scatman Carruthers I get shot by the PPSH what do you know I've, I've never ever been shot by that gun before do you, do you get it and I get 
I get revived. And just one more thing that I want to say to you guys. I mean, I'll get back to the shotgun thing in a second, but there is a a competition going on right now. It's called the Battle for Hastings. Now, Hastings, it's a new map that's going to come out once once there have been, and I yet again, Scatman Carruthers, I die. But what the Battle for Hastings is, it's a battle between platforms. So it's basically PS3 versus Xbox 360 versus PC. And ha really how it works is the first platform, or once your platform gets to 69 million team support actions, so those can be, you know, everything from repairing a vehicle to healing someone to revives to ammo to spotting. Those are all team support actions. And once your platform collectively gets 69 million team support actions, then you get Hastings, the new map. And if you guys want more information on this competition between Xbox and PS, uh, PS3 and PC, I'll leave, you, I'll leave you a link in the description. It's actually something that I really think is a great idea. But if you want to hear more about the Battle for Hastings, I'll leave a link in the description to the actual counter in terms of uh, the number of support actions that have been tallied so far and who's winning in the competition. And I believe it's PC and then Xbox 360 and then PS3. PS3 is losing horribly and PS or PC is winning by quite a large margin. And just a few seconds ago, you saw the tactic that I was talking about and that's that quick shot, quick shot with a shotgun and then rapidly taking out your pistol. And that can work very, very well for some of the range combat because, you know, obviously the shotgun is limited in many ways in terms of range. But even so, you can see, even if I... The 45 is so effective from range, and although, oh, what do you know? No way. A PPSH? No way. I've never seen that submachine gun before, yet again. I almost feel as if it's like that now. It's like, okay, you got killed by an assault? Okay, it's an AK. You got killed by an engineer? It's a PPSH. You got killed by a medic. Well, the medic is more evenly distributed. It's either an XM-22. Well, I'd say the medic is more evenly distributed overall. I mean... I don't get killed consistently with the M60. It's either the XM22, the PK, uh, is it the RPK or the M60? Obviously, those are the only three LMGs. But I see a more even distribution in terms of weapon use in the medic class compared to the others. But like I said, that tactic is extremely effective with a shotgun. That quick shot uh, with your primary shotgun, obviously, and then that quick pistol shot that can work very, very well, especially with a 45 because because it's got such high damage. But then again, if he's out of my range with a shotgun, I don't even want to try the whole tactic. If he's way out of my range, I'll just actually just use my pistol. And you'll see several times throughout this video, I can just snipe people. And I'm not saying, oh, I'm so I'm so great with my pistol. I can just snipe people. It's more so anybody can do it because the damage is so high. It's such a great pistol. And I was sitting in the corner here because I was waiting for my other squad mates to spawn on me. But they were being asset nine teammates and decided not to spawn on me. And... They decided to run from the bottom of the hill. That's a good idea. So I go ahead and arm that charge, and I'm going to defend it until it explodes. And coming up here, it's quite the shenanigans. Once we got to get over to A, it's it's a little odd. Oh, one, give me your sandwich, double kill. That was I, I love that part because I didn't think I was going to get the guy behind him with my pistol, but I did. And just, I mean, I think we all know that the pistols are ba basically the same compared to Bad Company 2, and that's just... The TT-33 is just the M9, and the 45 is the same as the 45. And, uh oh, Scatman Carruthers killed again uh, by Smokepot619. Well, of course you spelled pot wrong, because you are probably on pot at the time, or at the moment that you were typing in your PSN ID, but I think... You know what, I probably think that he knows that pot is spelled incorrectly, and this is the shenanigans I'm talking about. I spawn, I didn't think anybody was there. Give me your sandwich, I get a third, oh man, I'm dead. That guy was going in for the knife, and I said, I think not, sir. I, I think not. I don't think I like broccoli, and I'm going to blast you on the way to try to knife me, but no dog tags for you. And yet again, I, got I get killed, but then again, there is another segment of shenanigans coming up here that is... It's just odd. It, I mean, but you know what? It stems from my own stupidity. Sometimes we, I have this, I have moments in Bad Company 2 where it's like, you know what? You are just being so stupid right now. Just, and see, that's that's the other, that's the other tactic. You can see there, I didn't quite finish him off with my pistols. So you can always take out your shotgun, and even if even one of those pellet hits, 
pellets hits, excuse me, that's sort of hard to say. And so you see, you can just snipe with the 45. And like I said, if you run out of ammo for your pistol and you've already damaged the guy with maybe two or three shots, or more so two shots, you can always finish him off from range with a shotgun. I wouldn't try that if he's full health, but definitely try it if, I mean, if, if you know he's already significantly damaged, have at it. Have, have a shotgun shell at him, or buckshot technically, right? And I just didn't see that guy. He was being a fire monster. He was, there was like that fire silhouetted against his back. I just couldn't see him very well. And what do you know? What is he using? The PPSH. Oh, man. That's a new weapon. Never been killed by that before. And moving on here, I, I believe this is the segment where it is just asinine. What I, what I do is so asinine that it leads to something ingenious. And it's really... I know that does, doesn't make any sense, but it's definitely going to it's, it's going to make sense in just a few seconds here. And yet again, it's by Smoke Pot. Although I got him, I don't know how he killed me. So moving on here, I believe this is the final push. Yes, it is. Definitely is. And I enjoy, specifically, I enjoy gameplays like this where it's a lot more action. I'm always battling up hills and I'm definitely going for the objective all the time. That's the gameplays that I like. I don't necessarily like this, my own spawn point gameplays where I'm just sitting back with an ACOG and just picking people off. This is the problem. I thought he hadn't armed it yet. I didn't even realize his crate was armed. So I pick up three different medic kits, I pick up the M60, and then there's one. Eins und... Zwei und... Und drei... Und... Fear. What a fear. That's four. I mean, I don't know how he got me from that range with a flamethrower, but it's just odd. I mean, you would think, Russian Badger, why are you being so stupid? That arm was, that charge was already armed. Why are you going over there? And you know what? You know what came out of it? I picked up an M60 and I mowed down four guys and I defended the objective. So that's, that's ingenuity out of stupidity. Well, that's not really an ingenious actual action, but something great came out of it. But other than that, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed the shotgun gameplay as much as I did. Auf Wiedersehen und bis bald.